Hi everyone. Today we will be discussing questions from day 27 of the revision plan. Question number 1. Which of the following conservation bodies are headed by Prime Minister of India? 1. National Tiger Conservation Authority, 2. National Board for Wildlife, 3. Animal Welfare Board of India. National Tiger Conservation Authority is a statutory body and it's headed by Ministry of Environment. National Board for Wildlife is also a statutory body and it's headed by the honorable prime minister and animal welfare board of india again it's an advisory body also statutory and headed by union ministry of environment therefore the answer is option c national board for wildlife question number 2 consider the following statements one ramsar convention classifies wetland types to identify wetland types based on the habitat at each ramsar site statement 2 wetlands will be selected for ramsar list on account of their international significance in terms of biodiversity and uniqueness of their ecology the ramsar convention they have actually classified the wetlands uh, into various types in order to identify them faster the three main types include marine inland and human made wetland also they are selected for uh, their significance in the terms of biodiversity and how unique they are therefore the answer is option c both 1 and 2 question number 3 forest of hope program is an initiative of a united nations environment program b united nations convention on biological diversity c bird life international d international union for conservation of nature the forest of hope program is an initiative of bird life international it aims to prevent deforestation protect trees and restore natural forest mainly in the tropic area uh, in order to uh, maximize their effect they are trying to link forest conservation on ground to policy and advocacy therefore the answer is option c question number 4 ecological character displacement phenomenon can be seen in one development of differentiation in ecological niche among a species two competition among species for limited resources three difference in physical properties of the same species in a particular location uh, the character displacement is a phenomenon where uh, two spe- uh, two individuals of the same species with different physical characteristics so when they geog- geographically overlap each other their differences they tend to maximize this is called character displacement their differences increase in order to sustain both the species by changing their uh, nature of competition for the same type of resources therefore the answer is option d 1 2 and 3 question number 5 with reference to the international consortium on combating wildlife crime consider the following statements one it is a collaborative effort of non government organizations aiming to bring support to national wildlife law enforcement agencies two this alliance was formed in st petersburg russia during the international tiger forum of 2010 which of the above statements are correct uh, this consortium on combating wildlife crime iccwc is uh, not a collaboration of the non governmental agencies but it's a collaborative effort of five uh, intergovernmental organizations working to bring coordinated support to the national wildlife law enforcement agencies at the regional and sub regional level it was formed in st petersburg in the year 2010 therefore the answer is b two only question number 6 which of the following are included as wetlands as per ramsar convention one salt exploitation sites two irrigated lands three water reservoirs according to ramsar convention uh, wetlands include uh, so many types of land which has the ability to uh, contain large amount of water terminally or permanently so all these given options uh, have the ability to contain water uh, at a small period of time or for uh, large uh, permanent periods therefore the answer is option d 1 2 and 3 question number 7 Nag- nagoya protocol deals with a access to genetic resource and fair equitable sharing of benefits arising from their utilization b the safe handling transport and use of living modified organisms resulting from modern technology c global warming and its effects on the coastal system d 
protecting wetlands of national and international importance. The Nagoya Protocol on Access to Genetic Resources and Fair and Equitable Sharing of Benefits is actually a supplementary convention of uh, CBD, the Convention on Biological Diversity. Therefore, the answer is option A. Question number 8. There has been a proposal to translocate critically endangered Sanghai deer from its natural habitat. To which of the following location is it planned to be translocated? A. Doyang Lake B. Pumlan Pat Lake C. Rudrasagar Lake D. Haflong Lake The answer is B. Pumlan Pat Lake It's actually located in Manipur itself. It's a major fishing hub of the people over there. Answer is B. Question number 9. Middle East Respiratory Syndrome Virus Disease are thought to be spread to humans from A. Camels B. Bats C. Pigs D. None of the above so this Middle East Respiratory System is a novel coronavirus that was first identified in Saudi Arabia in 2012 and it was spread from camels to human beings. Therefore, the answer is option A, camels. Question number 10. Consider the following statements. 1. The inaugural India Central Asian Business Council was held in 2020 to act as a common platform for the businesses of Central Asia and India. 2. The council was held in New Delhi. Which of the above statements are correct? Uh, it was under the initiative of Ministry of External Affairs and uh, the FICCI that uh, India Central Asia Business Council was launched in 2020. It's a recent initiative. It, it was also joined by five countries, uh, namely Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, Kazakhstan and Kirk Republic. The inaugural session was conducted in New Delhi. Therefore, the answer is option C, both 1 and 2. So that's all for today. We will be uh, posting the next set of uh, topics and questions tomorrow. Thank you.